lose like you So please don't break my heart Don't tear me apart I know how it starts Trust me, Place a timeline marker where each word is as I have here Make sure they are a different color than the beat markers. I have made a particle system to help the process, as well as added a 50 millimeter two-node camera. Add a null layer above the camera and change its position to match the camera's position. Duplicate the null layer a couple times. The green null layers will be used for rotations and the red ones will be used for position changes. Parent the camera to the first null, first null to the second null, and so on. My first movement will be a position change, so I will use the first red null. Click on it and press P to open position controls. In order to use the value curve in the graph editor, right-click on the controls and click separate dimensions. Highlight keyframes and click F9 to smooth. Follow my graph. Adjust the graph to your liking. Click Ctrl T and press in the viewer to make a text layer. When you adjust your text to the camera, make sure it has the correct scale relative to everything else in your scene. Change to Custom View 1 to help you do this. I am also adding rotation to the first movement, which will use the first green null. Duplicate your text layer for your second word. Position it where you want it in the scene. For me, this will be both a position and rotation movement, meaning I will use the second red null and second green null. Notice how my yellow marker for this word is in between by keyframes. Use the speed curve for this graph. The peak of the graph should be directly under your marker. The steepness is how fast you want the movement to be. Make adjustments to any keyframes or graphs as necessary. For this next movement, I want to rotate around the don't text. To do this, I will create a new null layer and before parenting it, will copy the position controls from the don't text onto it.
Before setting keyframes, I put the next few words in my scene. I'm also keyframing a red null to make the camera go downwards as it rotates. I will also rotate the camera on the Z axis, meaning I will position the my and heart words upside down. I will use one of the green nulls for the ZE axis rotation. Finally, I make the last zoom out movement with a red null. Make any adjustments to the keyframes or graphs as necessary. If something doesn't seem right, try to differentiate whether it is the speed, strength, or timing that is off. If something seems too fast, make your graphs less steep, and vice versa if too slow. If something seems too strong, change the actual values of the keyframes. If movement seems to happen too early or late, adjust where the keyframes are placed on the timeline. Thank you for watching.